What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at my Mint on Card Hasbro collection. Alright guys, now if you're a frequent flyer here on the channel, you know that at least from my last tour video or pretty much my weekly videos, I've always had my Mint on Card Hasbros on this shelf and the shelf next to it. But recently, you've noticed that it's changed. So up here I have some Hasbro stuff like the Trace Plates, the minifigures, the Hulk Hogan wrestling gear all sealed. Here we have the tag teams, carrying cases, have the Hulkster Hulk because he doesn't fit in certain defenders. Down here I have the new retros. The belt, more minifigures, Ultimate Warrior Wrestling gear, Jake's Snake, all that stuff. So you're probably wondering, where have the Hasbros gone? So I'm going to show you, and we're gonna take a look at my Hasbro Mint on Card collection, and we're gonna talk about it. So. Here they are. I decided to make a mint on card Hasbro wall and we're gonna take a look at everything and I'll explain why I did it. I mean, you know, I've, I've had these figures that a lot of them are very valuable and I felt like uh, they weren't getting enough attention the way that they were bookmarked on the shelf. I just thought that they deserve to be on the wall in some way, shape or form like this and, and I think it looks great. So before we look at them, a lot of people ask about these. These are, patents of the original Hasbro. So it's each one is three pages. So over here we have the Hulkster Gorilla Press Slam. It's all the pieces, how it's put together. There's the original patent. And over here we have Rick Rudes. There it is, all the different parts. I think these are awesome. So I wanted to keep these on my wall because I just think they look great. But we'll talk about my Mint on Card Hasbros now. I do not have a complete set. I wish I did. Maybe one day eventually. I've completed some of the series. And a lot of these, believe it or not, I would say maybe a good third to close to, um, a, close to half of them are actually from my childhood that I bought at KB Toys for the three for 10. And um, you'll be able to tell which ones and I'll, and I'll show you uh, them as we go, but we'll talk about what we have. So up here, first up, we have series one, Big Boss Man. Great looking figure. We have Brutus Beefcake. These two I got super cheap. These are two, two of the first ones I bought. So there's like a crease on the Boss Man, a crease on the Brutus, but eventually I'll replace them. It just hasn't been at the forefront of my, uh, my intentions right now. Here I have a super mint. Um, Jake the Snake Roberts. And here's the two that everybody questions about. They're like, why are these so beat up? Why would you even keep these? These are actually not Hasbros. I mean, they are Hasbros, but they're Fun Schools. Now, Fun School is like an Indian subsidiary of Hasbro. Okay? Um, and a lot of people want to dispute that. But uh, if you own a Fun School, on the back, it literally says Hasbro. Um, and that it's a subsidiary. But these are Indian variants. We're not even Indian variants, Indian releases. Um, and they're much cheaper quality. It's different, like the plastic's like sticky, it's weird. Um, but these are two I have mint on card. And the thing about these is that this is actually considered really good condition for a fun school because they're usually trashed. Because the card on these is, it's almost like it's not cardboard. It's almost like it's like a really thick computer paper. It's very, very thin and, and, and flimsy. And, and it's Im almost impossible to find one that's completely attached to the card. But these always came with a free, quote unquote, WWF Hero sticker. He has a Ted DiBiase sticker. And um, Smash has the Macho Man. But yeah, pretty cool. The thing about the Ted DiBiase that I love 
is that the belt is different. It's almost like a brass color as opposed to a golden color, which you can see right here, we'll compare them, see? Like this is a little bit darker. This is more like the golden one that we, you know, we know and love. Next up, we have DiBiase 2. After that, my newest addition, which is Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And the light makes it look like he doesn't have hot rod on his shirt. He does. After that, we have Superfly Jimmy Snooka. And yes, these are all in order by series. We have Hacksaw 1. Here we have Macho Man Randy Savage Series 3. Very, very super hard to find. Pretty expensive figure. This is actually one that I bought as a kid. Same thing with this Hulk Hogan right here. These are the first two from my childhood. I bought and saved and they're in absolutely mint condition because that's just how I am. And I've found, <clears throat> I've become more lenient on when I'm buying like the condition because I've realized that most people do not keep their things in the same condition and treat them the same way that I would because I like to keep things in like almost perfect condition. And I'll go to extreme lengths. Now, next up, we have foreign cards. These are French cards. Um, so all the French cards that you see here are actually all from my childhood. They're ones that I bought in the three for $10 at KB Toys. A lot of people don't like French cards. Um, they don't bother me because it's the same picture. It's the same design. It's the same company. Um, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't understand why people hate them so much, but also I see them in a nostalgic light. Like I remember a lot of these figures that I have here with the French cards, they're, um, they're the ones that I bought and played with. So like, I hate when people say like, Oh, what we didn't, I, I didn't buy the foreign cards. Like when I was a kid, I always had the American. It's like, well, I, I remember buying the ones and opening them because this is where they came from. So to me, these are the ones that I had as a kid, if that makes sense for certain figures. Um, but yeah, I think I have a good like 10 or so of them. They don't bother me though. Um, people ask me if I would replace them. Uh, I really don't know if I would solely because like I said, these are from my childhood and, and I don't think I would be able to find American ones in as good a condition as the ones that I have saved over the years. But I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But right now I'm happy with them. The colors on these pop because they're in such good shape. We got Big Boss Man 2. Greg the Hammer Valentine, Coco, Texas Tornado, Mr. Perfect, one. We've got Ultimate Warrior, I think this is Ultimate Warrior three, right? Yes. The Undertaker, Bulldog, Bret Hart. So those are ones from my childhood and we got a couple down here too, which we'll go over. So what's that like? of them we have Jim Neidhart and the warlord again these are from my childhood ones I bought when I was a kid like with my allowance so I was like oh, I want to have I want to have them on the card dad so this is what I spent my money on and saved them and I mean they really are in completely mint condition not a single crease or dent in them because I just took care of them Skinner here's another one this is a foreign macho man is this number four um, we've got the model, Rick Martel, the Mountie. Now the Mountie, this is another one that I had as a kid. Um, and I think I, I, I don't think I ever realized that he came with the stick because of the stick placement. IRS. And I think this is the final foreign card and that's the Hulk Hogan number four. We've got Tatanka. Repo Man, El Matador, Papa Shango, Ric Flair. Yeah, and these are in like beautiful condition. The Berserker, Kona Crush from the Yellow Card series. I believe, yes. I won Kona Crush in a raffle, and I also won the Shawn Michaels Yellow Card in a raffle. Here we have Kamala, one of my favorites. And this one, this is actually, I think, the only figure I have that I bought for, as a child that still has a sticker on it. I took them all off, but I left it on, I left it on one, and it happened to be Owen Hart, and I think it looks cool. Let's get the three for ten dollars on there. Shawn Michaels. 
which I, I mean, I, I hate that they put those stickers on there, but after a while, it's like, you know what? There's no more KB toys. It's kind of cool to see that. And Razor Ramon. So the Conceited Crunch, Sean, is one that I um, won in a raffle. We've got Doink from the Purple Cards. Scott Steiner, I eventually want to get Rick Steiner. Here's another one that I won in a raffle and that is Lex Luger. Got Shawn Michaels 2, the blue card, but this is with the black tights, not the white. And Razor Ramon 2, this is the purple on the dark blue. I need their um, original variants. I need, so basically I need these figures on the blue cards and I'll have the complete second blue card series, dark blue card series, I should say. We have um, Marty Jannetty, Luke and Butch, the Bushwhackers. We've got El Gigante, or as they called him in WWF, Johnny Gonzalez. I have both of the head shrinkers here. Samu and Fatu. And now the complete green card series, one of my favorites. I didn't have as a kid, so I really wanted to complete this one. Got Billy Gun, Bart Gun, the Smoking Guns. Got Ludwig Borga here. Adam Bomb. This is uh, my second green card that I got, and I actually won this. I won this in a raffle. So that one was free too. I think I spent like 10 bucks or something on raffle tickets and won that one. I, I use the raffles in a group on Facebook called Has Bros. And I've won a bunch, as you can see. I think we've already put out four that I've won. Yes, four. Um, here we have Evil Crush. Down here we have Yokozuna. And the Holy Grail, for me at least, this is the one, two, three kid. And that's one that my dad got me for Christmas a couple years ago and I just didn't see it coming. It was an awesome gift, really cool. Um, so yeah, I put up my Hasbros on the wall there and I plan on getting more. Eventually I do want to complete it, but right now, taking it day by day, they are getting expensive. Originally, I had these art proofs, I guess you'd call them, um, that I did of unreleased Hasbro figures. If you've watched the, the old, um, oops, uh, there's five of them, but I don't want to drop them in the class. Uh, on the old tour. And now we have this, which I think personally looks better. I was nervous doing it, but I'm glad I did. And uh, there's a couple other figures I have. I ha do have Ricky Steamboat. I do have Hulkster Hug that I'm going to be putting in new Defender cases soon, putting up there. But figures that won't be up there are the mini figures. And the tag teams, because they're bigger and haven't found Defenders that I can just hang with them. But I'll show them to you anyway. We have the um, Nasty Boys, which I won in a raffle we have the rockers back there demolition the bushwhackers which i also won in a raffle with the nasty boys and lod so yeah some pretty cool stuff and if you want to talk about something else i won in a raffle which is like mind-blowing i also won a mint in bag mail away hogan so yeah that's my current mint on card collection of Hasbro's. Also have obviously the retros here. I miscalculated space. I really thought I was gonna be able to fit all the Hasbro's, all the retros. But I realized like if I wanna complete the Hasbro's, I kinda gotta keep the wall to just them. So yeah, there they are. I think it looks great. Um, if you collect Hasbro's, let me know which ones you have and how you display them. I'm just curious. I think it's a lot of fun to talk about all the differences that we do and yeah. So that was a quick run through of what I have. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Pick up the ultimate wrestling figure checklist available now on amazon.com and go to prowrestlingtees.com slash Fig Heel for all your merchandise needs. Take it easy guys. Have a good one. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need 
Big Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500 plus page guide to over 40 plus years of wrestling figure collecting. As heard on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, it features WWE, WWF, WCW, ECW, TNA, NJPW, AEW, Ring of Honor, AWA, Dragon Gate, CMLL, AJPW, AAA, and more. Professionally organized so you can keep track of mock, loose, value, and much more. Big Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Don't forget to check out our official sponsor, TheWrestlingPlace.com, for all your action figure needs.